first off, huge, another huge shout out to Lang Fabron. I apologize if I said that wrong. Thank you for leaving your setup and allowing us to practice on you. You're a god, us mere mortals. Uh, mortals, I mean. We'll try to throw stuff at you. I just try to help folks see it uh, better. I took out my bigger um, Dragoon just to show that I'm only using Torrid for immune to damage. And uh, I'm going to go from there. Shock is there. Shock is, um, yeah, it definitely messes with folks. At four turns, it's the worst. That's when it really messes with folks' sets. Uh, but you do have a six-star sentry. Yeah, I believe it's sentry. But uh, let's traverse this one together. So the water is 50% negated damage with fire attacking it. I'm doing this because I want to show that after, if any other besides water is in slot one, You've really got nothing to worry about. 20 gem connections is the most important one that you need. I dislike luck. It is luck getting 20 connections or more. But I found going left to right like this. And as long as this squishes a few, at least four columns, I've noticed that this helps me keep my 20 gem connections that is needed. As you see there. Then you will see the damage that it will negate and allow to go through. And it did at 608T. Very close, though. That was close to not going through. So I'm definitely getting at the near end of my uh, my GVG set here. So here we got three. We're going to have to activate. Not worried. Those will all respawn back and refill back up and be usable. Because shock is just taking a turn away per turn. Now I got hit with a lot of zombies there. So I'm going to get rid of two zombies because of Neil. And now I'm going to go ahead and zap. So 608T is enough to zap. And it should be enough to take out all the wardens. Um, and we go from here. So this one will be the same. I'm going to activate three. Be immune to damage. The zombie should not click in because I'm immune to zombie. But it did. As you can see. So to me, I think Vanguards, they might not be explaining it right. But I think devs are, Vanguards might not be considered wardens in a sense. So the fact that sh you see zombie coming in with adaptive defense, zombie should not have registered. But it's okay. I guess it's okay. It's not okay, actually. that though, That's annoying, man. But that's all I'm looking at it to make myself feel better that it is okay. It's there because it's... That's good to know. I'm changing my setup now. But yeah, that's what's... Yeah, it's because it's probably not a uh, warden. It's a vanguard. Uh, thank you for explaining that one, devs. Here, I'm going to go ahead. I do want to become immune to damage here. And we're going to go here. Again, this is all luck. If I get hit with mute on four, then it changes up the whole perspective. And I didn't. So I'm not worried. Um... Here, we're going to get rid of at least two. I'm going to zap. Now we're going to go through it again. Doing the same thing. Actually, I'm going to be smart this time. I'm going to do four of them because I want to get rid of those mutes. One, two, three, and then four. So with that, it actually didn't. Okay, so lots of stuff is going on here. Lots of weird stuff, but yeah, it's just how the game is. I'm not putting it past nothing no more. I don't care. Oh, I didn't even make myself immune either. I got sidetracked, but that's okay. Still maneuvering through. Now I'm going to do, this is a, uh, yep, right here. Should have got rid of both of those last time. Now I'm going to zap. But uh, yeah, we could be onto something here. That zombie did register. I'm going to take it that V-Guards are considered their own entities then. Great job, devs. Appreciate you being honest with us. My God. 